Is there anything that you believe in that is implausible? A Bigfoot, for example, the afterlife, UFOs, what about a conspiracy theory? What all these three examples have in common aside from the fact that they are very hard to prove or disprove is that they require us to make a judgment. A judgment on how likely we think that our belief is true. And in doing so, We can either use our intuition or analytical thinking. Recent research has shown that people who believe in a conspiracy theory tend to use analytical thinking less and intuition more. A conspiracy theory is the belief that there is a hostile coalition, a group of people who in secrecy pursue a harmful or deceptive goal. Conspiracy theories are not wrong per se, but they are very often fueled by misinformation and they are hard to disprove. And remember, some formally labeled conspiracy beliefs, like the Watergate scandal, for example, turned out to be true later. Circulating conspiracy beliefs is a phenomenon that probably is as old as our humanity itself. However, the uniqueness of our present age is that any view, idea, or opinion can be easily disseminated. So that is why many of us may have the feeling that conspiracy theories are all around us. And it is actually not surprising when you may feel like this even more so lately, because conspiracy theories often gain momentum in times of crisis. But why? When living conditions have suddenly changed, are threatening, and when the future seems uncertain, people tend to experience feelings like anxiety, stress, frustration, powerlessness, all these negative feelings. And believing in a conspiracy theory may be one way to minimize these negative feelings by assigning meaning to uncertainty. For instance, take the following example. It cannot be that the COVID-19 pandemic happened accidentally. There must be someone behind it who did this on purpose to cause harm to the people. So it must be man-made. And the more and more one feels to be lacking control, the conspiracy belief becomes an even more attractive explanation for otherwise inexplicable events that have affected us severely. So interestingly, Believing in a conspiracy theory does serve a purpose, namely to establish a sense of control. Together with my colleagues from the universities of Basel, Oxford and Lübeck, we recently discovered some cognitive characteristics of people who believe in a conspiracy theory. For example, we discovered that they tend to jump to a conclusion. And what is really interesting is that although they find them rather implausible, they still choose to believe in the conclusion they hastily arrived at. Additionally, we also found out that once a judgment had been made, people who believe in a conspiracy theory tend to not integrate any further contradictory information into their judgments anymore. Importantly, And this is really remarkable. Not only people who believe in a conspiracy theory show these cognitive characteristics, we all do from time to time. And that is why by studying this unique type of personal judgment, namely to believe in a conspiracy theory, um, we as researchers are learning about the cognitive underpinnings as human judgment and decision-making. And it is taught us that When making a judgment, our mind goes through three main cognitive processes of information gathering. So first, we have to assess the credibility or plausibility or accuracy of given information. Second, 
we have to decide how much information we should or want to consult. And third, we possibly deal also with information that contradicts our opinion. And the way we deal with each of these three cognitive processes can tell us whether we are leading with our intuition or analytical mind. A simple example is when choosing an ice cream flavor, we may be more led with our intuition, consulting less information, not needing to assess the credibility of different ice cream flavor signs and do not seek out contradictory views on favorite ice cream flavors. But in contrast, when investigate, investing in a big ticket item, a car, for example, or a flat, one may wish to gather more information before purchasing it, even find negative reviews and choose specific credible sources that we can trust before making a decision. So the power of intuition is huge. And I'm pretty sure that all of you know the positive feeling when having decided based on a gut reaction and the ultimate decision turned out to completely the right or vice versa. The negative feeling when you have decided based on analytical thinking, but the ultimate decision did not feel right. We all strive to make the right decision regardless. And in general, both of us Use, all of us use a balance between both intuition and analytical thinking. And all of us need both minds in order to make judgments and decisions. We all need both minds in order to be able to act and interact with others. So sometimes we may lean to one side and make a judgment that requires a leap to draw a conclusion. And sometimes we swing to the other side and overanalyze. So finally, believing in a conspiracy theory in and of itself is not a bad thing. In the end, it is just the product of a typical human process, cognitive process. It's what we do with them that can be inhuman. Thank you very much.